Holly L. T. Wire logo photo, Netflix Jamie Foxx, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Dominique Fishback are the movie's biggest assets by August 14, 2020, 5 p.m. EDT The idea behind the new Netflix movie Project Power is incredibly potent. In the world of the movie, superpowers aren't something you're born with, or gain via a bite from a radioactive spider. They come from pills that activate the user's hidden power for 5 minutes. What's more, nobody knows what superpower they'll have until they take the pill, at which point, a few unlucky users just explode into a mess of blood and guts. The high of taking the drug, called power, is represented by Requiem for a dream-esque splashes of color and cells that last for split seconds, an effect that's a handy metaphor for project power itself. Directed by Catfish's Henry Yost and Ariel Shulman from a script by the Batman's Matson Tomlin, Project Power's burst of color comes from its central conceit and Yost and Shulman's sense of style. It's bright and attractive, but it fizzles out quickly. Tomlin's idea is innovative, but the story he tells with it is tired. Project Power protagonist Robin, Dominique Fishback, is a collection of cliches. She's a high schooler and would-be rapper who deals drugs in order to care for her ailing mother. She works with Frank Joseph Gordon-Levitt, a cop, to help him keep an eye on who's buying what, as well as to supply him with power. While the police are cracking down on power use and distribution in the city, Frank sees the drug as leveling the playing field against criminals, since it makes him bulletproof. And Art Jamie Foxx, a mysterious former soldier, crashes into both of their lives when he kidnaps Robin in an attempt to get to power's source. Dominique Fishback in Project Power photo, Skip Boland Netflix their race to stop power from being widely distributed and wreaking havoc is fairly formulaic. So is the revelation that Art is looking for his kidnapped daughter, which instantly bonds him with the fatherless Robin. Meanwhile, Frank is forced to reckon with the fact that the police department might, in fact, be corrupt. A few scenes and details stand out. One character's power turns him into a version of the Human Torch, which makes him a deadly foe, but also leaves him with severe burns. On top of that, the superpowers are given an intriguing source. All of the powers are based in nature, mimicking an armadillo's shell or a lizard's capability for regeneration. But the standout moments are rare. Tomlin's script ends up almost ignoring power's limitless factor, the five-minute ticking clock and the idea of being able to attain extraordinary abilities through pharmaceuticals, as the story juggles social commentary with superhero antics. Project Power takes place in New Orleans, and there are a few veiled references to Hurricane Katrina and the government's poor emergency response, as well as the opioid crisis and the systemic disadvantages faced by black women.